so when the piston reaches BDC the intake valve closes and the piston travels back to TDC with all valves closed from the figure you can see it this compresses the air fuel mixture raising both the pressure and temperature in the cylinder the finite time required to close the intake valve means that actual compression does not start until sometime a BDC near the end of the compression stroke the spark plug is fired and combustion is initiated combustion combustion of the air fuel mixture occurs in a very short but finite length of time with the piston near TDC that means nearly constant volume combustion it starts near the end of the compression stroke slightly BTDC and lasts into the power stroke slightly ATDC combustion changes the composition of the gas mixture to that of exhaust products and increases the temperature in the cylinder to a very high peak value this in turn raises the pressure in the cylinder to a very high peak value expansion stroke or power stroke with all valves closed the high pressure created by the combustion process pushes the piston away from tdc this is the stroke which produces the work output of the engine cycle as the piston travels from tdc to bdc cylinder volume is increased causing pressure and temperature to drop exhaust blowdown late in the power stroke the exhaust valve is opened and exhaust blowdown occurs pressure and temperature in the cylinder are still high relative to the surroundings at this point and a pressure differential is created through the exhaust system which is up, open to atmospheric pressure this pressure differential causes much of the hot exhaust gas to be pushed out of the cylinder and through the exhaust system when the piston is near BDC this exhaust gas carries away a high amount of enthalpy which lowers the cycle thermal efficiency opening the exhaust valve before BDC reduces the work obtained during the power stroke but is required because of the finite time needed for exhaust blowdown exhaust stroke by the time the piston reaches BDC exhaust blowdown is complete but the cylinder is still full of exhaust gases at approximately atmospheric pressure with the exhaust valve remaining open the piston now travels from BDC to TDC in the exhaust stroke this pushes most of the remaining exhaust gases out of the cylinder into the exhaust system at about atmospheric pressure leaving only the trapped in the clearance volume when the piston reaches TDC near the end of the exhaust stroke B TDC the intake valve starts to open so that it is fully open by TDC when the new intake stroke starts the next cycle this is a figure where number a for intake stroke you can see the difference from this figure number b compression stroke number c combustion or ignition number d power or expansion stroke number e exhaust blowdown and number f exhaust stroke si engine operation for two stroke cycle combustion with the piston and TDC combustion occurs very quickly, raising the temperature and pressure to peak values almost at constant volume. Expansion stroke or power stroke. Very high pressure created by the combustion process forces the piston down in the power stroke. The expanding volume of the combustion chamber causes pressure and temperature to decrease as the piston travels towards BDC. Exhaust blowdown. At about 75 degree BBDC, the exhaust valve opens and blowdown occurs. The exhaust valve may be a puppet valve in the cylinder head or it may be a slot in the side of the cylinder which is uncovered as the piston approaches BDC. After blowdown, the cylinder remains filled with exhaust gas at lower pressure. Intake and scavenging. When blowdown is nearly complete at about 50 degree BBDC, the intake slot on the side of the cylinder is uncovered and intake air fuel enters under pressure. Fuel is added to, a, to the air with either a carburetor or fuel injection. This incoming mixture pushes much of the remaining exhaust gases out the open exhaust valve and fills the cylinder with a combustible air fuel mixture, a process called 
scavenging. The piston passes BDC and very quickly covers the intake port and then the exhaust port or the exhaust valve closes. The higher pressure at which the air enters, the cylinder is established in one of two ways. Large two-stroke cycle engines generally have a supercharger while small engines will intake the air through the crankcase. On these engines, the crankcase is designed to serve as a compressor in addition to serving its normal function. Compression stroke with all valves or pores closed, the piston travels towards TDC and compresses the air fuel mixture to a higher pressure and temperature. Near the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug is fired. By the time the piston gets to IDC, combustion occurs and the next engine cycle begins. Look at the process. A. Power or expansion stroke. B. Exhaust blowdown. C. Scavenging. D. Compression stroke. And E. Combustion. In the right corner, there are two figures. First one is for exhaust blowdown, and next one is for scavenging. And there is the transfer ports.